In this video, we are going to cover what are AI agents and why should you care about it. Let's get started. From the beginning of the day, I get up and I am seeing this news everywhere. I'm sure much like me, you're also seeing all this news everywhere. AI agents evolve, so does their definition. CIOs are bullish on AI agents, IT employees, not so much. Super agents are the next big thing in AI. And OpenAI realizes AI agent deep research designed to act like an analyst. I'm worried as a data scientist. And then five ways AI will change customer support in 2025. And I can keep going on and on. If you're like professional like me, data scientist or a data analyst, or any other working professional, you should be worried and should care about this. Anyways, now, why should you care? Automation and intelligence drive competitive advantage. We all know this, right? So the more we have the ability to automate stuff, intelligently, we can drive some competitive advantage that applies to working professionals like us also, or business owners, or even uh, directors or freshers or mid-career professionals. Anyone should be bothered about it. Just like how industrial revolution, machines replacing manual labor became a big thing. Similarly, in the computer revolution, automating information processing became a big thing. And today, as we move into the AI agentic world, AI agents doing some of the manual work is going to be a great, great uh, productivity boost for you. Anyways, why AI agents? Uh, for the different different uh, professionals that we have. For business owners and founders, AI agents are like streamlining operations, automating uh, decision making and providing real time insights, reducing inefficiencies in your process. Imagine not having two or three people that you're paying salaries to and instead having agents do the work for you seamlessly, just like a human would do it. For executive and professionals, co-pilots handling repetitive tasks Improving analysis and enabling better decision making is going to be your go-to activity. And just imagine having multiple personal assistants rather than having one personal assistant to be able to guide you or something team leads to be guiding you. You're going to have an army of AI agents going to be helping you out. For freshers, it's all about proficiency and competitive advantage, much like the early adopters of computers in the 90s. They will have much more better career trajectories than anybody who is not adopting this. And mid-career professionals, this is vast majority of our, of our workforce. Transitioning from a manual work to AI augmented work to remain competitive is going to be one of the key areas that you should be looking in. Now, these are some of the areas that we looked at, but irrespective of who you are on the planet, three factors of advantage that you will get if you are using a PC or a laptop are going to be these. AI is going to be uh, the new computer. That's one of that's going to be the superpower or the factor one. Just like Microsoft Office skills became essential, AI powered tools like ChatGPT, Copilot, and automating automation agents are now expected to be in every damn industry, whether you are in technology or non-technology, whether you're an HR professional or an IT professional, it is not going to matter. You have to use uh, as simple tool as like an Excel, Microsoft Excel, uh, everybody uses. For simple, simple tasks, you have to be able to use this. Not only that, you're going to have facilities from Microsoft that is going to allow you to create your own AI agents in human language. You can say, hey, create an AI agent that responds to my this site type of email and then that agent will continue to do that kind of work for you on your behalf. Or you can have an AI agent go into a meeting and then summarize whatever is that meeting or task and to-dos you have and give it to you. So you don't even have to attend the meeting. That's a possibility too. So it's going to be a new computer that's, that's uh, you are going to have superpower if you knew this. Next, productivity boost. Who does not love that? More productive you are, more you will grow in your career. More productive you are, the more you will earn. AI agents eliminate repetitive tasks, analyzing data faster and improving decision-making, giving professionals an edge in leadership roles. Uh, your ability to take more decisions faster, quicker and benefiting the business will propel you in the direction of leadership roles and that's where you're going to be shining. So productivity definitely bo boosting your productivity uh, will lead to career growth and salary growth also. Next part of it is job security and marketability. Employers now prefer professionals who can leverage AI for efficiency and I've been in multiple corporate trainings where every 
department or function that I'm going into is asking the same question, Kunal, how do we use AI or AI agents within the workflows that we have or using generative AI? And so with the introduction of AI agents, the game really changes for everybody, right? I've done a couple of co corporate trainings. I'm going to do a lot of corporate trainings and all of the working professionals that are there within the companies are upskilling. And uh, no matter who you are, you should be also thinking like that because companies are thinking like that, right? And they want that kind of a skill. Not upskilling in AI is going to be, uh, today is like to be refusing to use a computer in the early 2000s. And this happened, right? Like, uh, you know, some places uh, had computer uses and they gave up that opportunity and instead do, did something else. Those who use a computer became a lot more faster, with, be it a business or a founder or an executive or IT professional. And so now you should decide whether or not you are going to be using to get these three factors boosted in your career or professional or business to be able to move forward. But I'm going to show you what AI agents means and a few examples. So let's look at that now. Okay, so uh, what are AI agents? Uh, I believe, you know, they are like human-like but with no emotions and they can perform the tasks with utmost focus and energy that we can possibly think of. So let me just try to break down what AI agents are. AI agents are, you know, agents that are human-like but no emotions, but, but they can process information like information. So you give it some input, what it's going to give is going to give some output, right? So you can think of systems or tasks and one micro task that they can perform. Right? And a micro task can be as simple as, hey, AI agent, can you book a meeting with, uh, say, someone else at 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow, worded out, right? And so what agent can do is basically take that input and then the output that we can get is a calendar invite that is getting on, added to a calendar, right? So that's an output. And then um, there's memory of it, right? So basically memory is basically like who's on the contact list and uh, what, what uh, the basically the agent should know to be able to act, right? It can be a marketing domain, it can be a sales domain, right? It can be a company's information, whatever it is, right? There is some memory that a brain, like human brain has an access to where they can go back, retrieve some information from there and then act on it. So then what happens is then what happens is that we have instructions. Basically now we have the processing unit and then the memory unit, they, they get in the right information and there are instructions. What are the instructions? At this point, what we want, what instructions we want to give is that we want to ensure that our calendar invite gets added and it, the tool understand that task very well. Right? So we'll give some instructions and system prompts and then be able to tell the AI agent to access the Google calendar when as needed to go ahead and add that calendar invite. Right, so this is an AI agent, right? It has an input, it has a brain, it has some instructions and some output, and then the brain can access the memories, instructions can ask, uh, you know, go ahead, look at the system prompt, which is like context for what is happening with this agent. And the agent is also free to use one or several other tools to do some action and get that output one. Okay, so if you understood this, what we're going to do is take an, another example which is going to be around AI powered resume screening system. I have the same framework that we have, but imagine what happens here is that a recruiter uploads a job description and a batch of resumes for screening, right? And that's the input that the recruiter gives. And then what's happened is that the AI compares each resume against job descriptions, but where's the job description present? Present in the LLM memory here, AI refers to the past hiring patterns and previously shortlisted candidates. And now it, it can shortlist it based on, uh, you know, the newer set of profiles that are coming in, right? How, how is it supposed to do? Uh, there are some uh, tools like EDIA that is named entity recognition and keyword matching to extract relevant information, right? So there's a tool NER, which they call to basically match the resume, right? So that's what it, it does. And this tool can be anything else also, guys, okay? And then what happens is if it follows a preset criteria like required skills, experience and education. So we, we sort of instruct it to look at each portion individually and be more specific about how you should be consuming it. And where does it all come from? 
provides a structured guideline and ranking and scoring resumes based on the predefined thresholds right so definitely all of the resumes are not going to be selected right there should be a rank okay this is the best resume this is the worst resume there are things in between and we want that as an output right so what happens is that now we have a rank list of most suitable candidates uh, along with the summaries of their qualifications so that this whole process which was otherwise done by a human or a se several people in the hr team can now be done efficiently as and when the recruiter upload, uploads a job description the ai agent is taking care of it previously there was an ats tracking system that did it but ai agents can do it even much more better than an ats tracking system right so that's what uh, ai agents do in the hr field now now that you understand what ai agents are and you have one example of it what next the first advice that i would definitely give you or the first recommendation that i would definitely give is build an ai agent that is even if even if you don't know how to code use n8n uh, it's a no code tool which will allow you to build your ai agents by drag and drop features much like you would do in excel pivot tables or let's say word or presentation or canva kind of an application so what's n8n n8n n8n.io is the link where you can go it's a secure ai native workflow automation the one that i showed you it can uh, do it and it's gaining rapid attention with people even who don't know how to code right if if you are just technically literate you should be able to do this right and and be able to create a first ai agent now there are two ways of using it one way is going to be you take the subscription the starter or the pro and you be able to do it the second way is they have made this entire application open source so you can use it locally in your system but nobody else can use it besides you or you can basically host it on a platform on on a cloud server and be able to use it and give it give an access to your teams and be able to use it also right so it's it's that easy uh, to be able to uh, host it and be able to start using an agent and creating your ai agent moving past if you are not too technical and yet technically literate uh, you could use aws and all the other cloud platforms that are there but i personally prefer using cloud bean cloud bean uh, helps me deploy an atn with one click i just go in spin up a server uh, add the application in it add in it application it has a drop down there i just go there select the application it's a launch and i have one uh n8 in uh, server ready for me to use it's that easy one click even a non technical person can be able to do this particular activity and cloud beans team is very very supported they do the all the ops part of it and let me handle what i can do best that is creating ai agents with that um you know this is how my own um a n8 platform looks like we have n8 dash whatever it is dot cloud inside dot com and as you can see i have created multiple flows to end it what i want to show you is one of the simplest ai agent that i created on my own platform self hosted platform on cloud bean uh, i basically created a ai agent that basically adds a calendar invite using chat so i just go here and just say chat um here and say hey you know ai agent go and create an uh, a calendar invite for my sales review process and then it goes there and finds a time Uh, maybe i'll say 9 pm to 10 pm and it goes adds it to my calendar and that quickly i can do it uh, against the process of going to a calendar selecting it uh, select giving the title selecting date and time the ai agent can go and just create this uh, event for us and i'm going to explore this more even where i can simply just do it on telegram and i can just say hey ai agent do this cancel this add this delete this change this and it's going to be very very simple it's like as if having one person one personal assistant available with me just to manage my calendar if you want this kind of video do mention that in the comment section really excited to create that and create that one and uh, pass it on to you that's all uh, that's all i have for today guys uh, this is how you work on ai agents and understand ai agents um, you know it it is definitely going to give you super power over multiple professionals and it's going to give you that advantage Now, if you want to create your own uh, self-hosted N8N, I'm going to leave that link in the comment section below. Do let us know what kind of agents do you want us to create, and we'll be happy to create that also. So, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.